Today we're at Hockenheim Ring in the Porsche Cup car. I did qualify, forget what I qualified, but we ended up starting from the pit lane because your boy got to the grid at the last second with his quality setup and totally forgot his fuel in it. So we had to jump out of the car, get to the pits, and put the right setup in. But other than that, it's a great race with an insane first lap. Today we are at the port in the Porsche Cup at Hocken Rhyme Ring. I think we've gotten probably a better start than we would have if we had fuel. So we just need to be careful here, make sure we keep our keep our heads on with cold tires. Don't lock up, break early, avoid wrecks. I, this is the first time I'm racing the Porsche Cup ever. I've never had any, ex I, I don't have any experience with this car. And so far, I can only, I don't understand why people race it. It must only be sadists because Jesus, like I know this thing has a cult following, but you, it, it has to be a sadistic cult. That's the only way I can exploit, I can, Huge lock up there. Way off. That's the only reason I can explain why people continue to drive this car. It is cult. It is a sadistic cult following. I know it's very dangerous on cold tires. Slightly lock up. Almost broke our rear end loose there. Oh, we're already up to eighth position. This is a very good start to an almost very bad start where we forgot our race setup and left the quality setup on. We're here following Felix. We're following Felix. Felix and Karsten. Trailing them about about one and a half seconds between the three. Felix is not using all the track. He's very conservative with Track limits, it seems. And Carson has a big left front lockup as it's, co it's common in that corner. And he's off, and we get around up into seventh position. I. Ooh. Driving this car is torturous in the sense that. We nicked the grass, it almost killed us. It is torturous, but it is very rewarding, I will say that. I'm, you know what, I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm already, I haven't even gotten two laps into this race, and I am already falling in, into the cult, the clutches of the cult. The Porsche Cup cult. Holy! It feels extremely, oh, big incident in front of us. Angel's coming back on. Me and Felix are going to go rocketing by. Going to be side by side here. Unfortunately, was not able to open up the corner and prepare for a better exit, but we were able to hold off Angel, keep him from getting a better exit, and stick on Felix. Now it's Zach in fourth. We are up to sixth from a pit lane start. We make a move. Can we get the buy one, get one? We do. We get the buy one, get one. Zach is just off to our left here. He 
He sees the position. We go wide. He's going to come back up. He's all over us here. I think he's got some pace on us. He just made a mistake. Not too sure. Woo! Ooh, we are sending it a little bit wide. We are conservative in these back sections. There's been too many times where I've been pushing in this back section here and just let the bass in step out on me. Woo! And we have a small one second gap to fifth. Ooh. Went a little bit wide there, but that's all right. Small gap to fifth. towards third of Fatundo Martin Martin I don't know I'm just gonna call him Martin about four second gap to third place and three tenths to Zach behind us Ooh, we have a rear wheel lock up it's gonna allow Zach to go up our inside and he cuts over we do have the run we're gonna go Nope, we're not. We're gonna lift and we're gonna live lift fight another day. It could be a risky move there. I'm gonna send it down the inside here. It's not gonna work. And Zach goes way off into the gravel! We're able to take the position with ease. I think Zach even went into the wall there. Unfortunate. Turn of events right there, ladies and gentlemen. Martin is pulling away after that battle with Zach. And we do have a sec two second gap to fifth. Which is closing. We made about five tenths up to Martin. And wow, they've got some pace on us. Martin's got four tenths fastest lap compared to. And the guys at him are in the 42s, and we're just. Nowhere's near. And we go so deep into the hairpin. But it works out for us alright. We do need to break earlier for it. That's something I've been trying to push the limits on and it's just losing me more time than it's gaining me. I am starting to overdrive the car here. I'm trying to pick up the pace and I think our delicate delicacy in the opening laps is really what got us what found us in fourth position off of a pit lane start. It's just being delicate with the car and kind of slow and deliberate. Slow and deliberate movements rather than aggressive pushing. We do our find we do find ourselves out in no man's land here. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about the channel and what I hope to do with it here so ideally 
I'm gonna start. I want to be making sim racing content of all cards. Currently, I am really enjoying i racing and trying to climb the ratings. So that's kind of gonna be the main thing for now. But we are going. I am planning on starting an F124 career career mode. I'm also planning on covering a set of course at Evo when that goes live. Don't know when the release date for that is just yet. Um, I've been thinking about doing some hardware reviews, although that might be hard. Just because I'm not able to get hardware all too often. So it might be kind of a... Kind of a scattered... Type of content. You, might, you know, you might not see it every every time I upload, but you might be able to catch it here and there. Ooh, we have a yellow flag up ahead. That is third place of Ricardo, and we are right by up into third. Wonderful. Now we know he has pace. They were able to run away from us early. We do have to pick it up here and make sure we don't allow him to catch back up to us. We have about eight more laps to go. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, reviews. I would like to do some reviews and I think that is going to be part of my channel. But I just don't think it's going to be a main part given how often I'm able to get new gear and really uh, show off the, the new stuff. So as I, ever, as I upgrade, as I pick stuff up, sure, I will post reviews on it, but I don't know if I'm always going to have the latest and greatest and the, the stuff that everyone wants to see right then and there. At this time, you know, maybe in the future down the line, when I uh, have some more money to splurge and some more sim stuff. We'll see more reviews. Currently, I just upgraded my microphone arm and I picked up a shock mount. So, hopefully, we won't hear quite as much rumbling from big hits on the steering wheel or mouse clicks or just me bumping into the arm as much. Um, it's on order it should be here Sunday so maybe not the next video you guys see but the video after will probably have the new arm and I'll point that out in that race that we see there after that I'm probably gonna go upgrading the microphone go from a blue Yeti to something like a uh, I, I'm not quite sure yet honestly I haven't decided I was looking at the SM7B but obviously that's an expensive microphone. But whatever microphone it is, it'll probably be a at least a dynamic mic, possibly an XLR dynamic. But I'm not quite sure how I want to route the how I would route. The XLR system because I do use the same PC at my desk and my sim as well as a streaming PC so I'm not quite sure if I if it would work how I, how I would want with having to have it in two separate places but m maybe if that's the case and it's not going to work how I would like I'll have to use the Yeti on my desk and the new XLR mic on the rig here. So we are pulling on the guys behind us, which is good, and we are kind of maintaining with Martin, Martin in front of us. I keep saying Martin, I don't know why. We're kind of maintaining between that five and a half to four and a half second gap here. Closing in on some, some areas and He's pulling away at others. So yeah, I'm excited for the future of the channel and I'm not quite sure 
actually what channel this is going to go on because I do have the Elite Galaxy channel as anybody that has seen my videos before probably has seen me on that that's the current channel I've had but that's been using a lot of gaming content from you know Fortnite and Valorant and Call of Duty and Tarkov and all those games and I'm thinking I'm gonna start the new a, a new channel for just my sim racing content which is going to be the main channel and it's called it's just gonna be Logan Lucas and that's going to be where you can find most of the content. This might actually be the first video that's posted on that channel. Okay. Just because I don't want to kind of confuse the niches. Ooh, a little bit oversteer. Not a lot of people kind of mix between the sim racing and first person shooter communities. M maybe I'm wrong, but just from my personal experience, they're two very separate groups. So I think I'm going to start the new channel, Logan Lucas. And if this video is on that channel, don't forget to like and subscribe or dislike or comment and say mean things because that's the only way I'm going to ever get better at what I do, whether that's racing or uh, racing or creating content or just life in general. You don't know what you don't know. And sometimes you're kind of blind to the things that you're doing wrong. And all it takes is someone else just pointing it out and you go, oh yeah. And then you can fix it really easily. Ooh, a little wide. Obviously, I did that wrong. You don't have to comment that. <laughs> a lot of wide. This is, I, I started off not understanding how people could have, whoo, enjoy this car like they do and race it as much as some people do. But boy, after running this race so far, 11 laps into a 15 lap race, I completely understand. It is just absolutely so rewarding to drive and get it right. When you, because when you get it right, you know and you feel it, and ah, the pleasure it gives to to just get it right with this car is just amazing. We have absolutely gapped the guys behind us. Like a click forward on the brake bias here. As we seem to be locking up the rears now after the tires have warmed up. So maybe a click forward might give us a little bit better braking. And allow us to try to close this gap on Martin ahead of us a bit more. We did dip into the three second gap range, so. It is possible. The race is not quite over yet. We have about four more laps. He's back out to four. We have been running in the 43s, which before this I had only been running in the 46s and high 45s, so to run in the low 43s like, oh no, 
we just totally forgot where the corner was. Ah! Yeah, we lost about four seconds there. What were we thinking? Probably closer to five seconds. That was a huge mistake. And really all we can hope for right now is a mistake from Martin like that. And like that to catch back up. Going back to our original break bias. I am curious if there's any uh, like physics or engineering majors in the comments here. Why is it that Thank this? You. The second I lock up my left front, doesn't matter if I let it start to spin again, it just relocks instantly. Is it the heat buildup or is it something else? Because it seems like every time you lock a tire, now I don't know if this is in real life or just tire racing, but every time I lock a tire up, I always have to end up going wide, even if I braked early, because the tire just locks right back up after I've unlocked it and applied almost zero brake pressure. Always feels like... It's just... Once it's locked once, it's always locked. I don't know. Angel is getting within striking distance behind us. Not striking distance, I should say, but... Uh, stalking distance, I, I should say. It's probably a better, better term right there. That felt fast. Hook in this lap. If we could drop into the 42s, that would be amazing. Just break right at the 150, which is just too late. Final lap of the race here. Let's 
accept. See? Three times I unlocked the brakes and then they just relock right back up. I'm just, I'm, I don't know why that happens. Like, obviously, there's gotta be, there's gotta be something that's happening. Is it because all the ways is already shifted there? I don't know. Angel is closing in here. This is going to be a neat little podium. For my first Porsche Cup race. For some reason there. Break by the wheels. Do not work. I don't know if that was an ISO issue or a GSI issue. Lap 15. We take home third place in my first Porsche Cup race ever. We worked our way from a pit lane start all the way up to third place for a solid finish here. So let's check out the results for our Porsche first Porsche Cup podium. Got gained some safety rating, which is huge because I've been losing a ton the last few days. Just stupid stuff and a lot of off tracks. Gained some more I rating back after a disappointing GT3 race. And it got our first podium. We started 11th, it says which I believe, no, was not quite the last car on the grid. We started 11th and we got up to third place in our first ever race. That is huge, 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 huge. I really enjoyed Porsche Cup. I, I At first I didn't understand why it had such a hardcore following. I thought it was a sadistic cult. Turns out it is not a sadistic cult. It's just a extremely rewarding car. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and tune in next time